Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'd like to show you how I made a garden mirror for your garden out of an old scrap mirror that I found thrown out. So these are good if you have a small garden and you want to give it the, the feeling of space and just to make an area of your garden look a bit more interesting. So hope you enjoy the video. So recently I found a mirror thrown out and I thought it would be a good idea to take it home and use it in the garden. So to do that I need to make a few modifications to it first. So here is the area that I want to put it behind this bamboo plant uh, on the fence so it can reflect back into the garden. So the first thing to do was to remove the brackets on the back of the mirror and the string and I'll be reusing these brackets later on to reattach the mirror to the fence. So then I needed to remove all of the staples holding the wooden back panel on. This back panel is made of particle board which would swell up outdoors so I need to replace it with some plywood. I could then remove the back panel and the mirror. And then to add some protection to the pine frame, I coated it with several coats of grey fence stain. So then I could take the back panel using it as a template and draw around it onto the plywood and then I could cut the back panel out with a jigsaw. Once that was done I could add a few coats of grey fence stain to the plywood just to offer some more protection. So I had this piece of black thin scrap plastic and I want to use this and cut it into some strips on the table saw to um, add the effect of leaded windows because I want the mirror to look more like a window. So I cut roughly two centimeter strips out with the table saw. And then just taking a utility knife, I removed any rough edges. I wanted to add a bead of um, frame sealant before I added the mirror back in just to prevent water seeping through into the wood behind the mirror. I then added another bead on top of the mirror to seal it at the back too and this will just help it to last longer outdoors. Then I could add the back panel on So to secure it I'm going to use some panel pins and hammer them in and then bend them over. So now using a combination square to help me find the center point, I can reattach the brackets. First I drilled a small pilot hole 
and then added a screw. And the same for the other side. So I could then flip the mirror over and begin to add the leading effect strips. So I'm offering up a long piece here and I'm going to mark it. Then I can cut it to size. This will be the horizontal piece. Then I could find the center point with a ruler and mark that up. So to attach these strips to the mirror, I'm using a contact adhesive. Then I just needed to give it a nice firm push down. Now I wanted to work on the vertical pieces. Again, offering them up and making a mark. Then cutting them down to size. Here I'm using a bench hook. And again, adding more contact adhesive. And I've got a piece of wood there to use as a spacer so that I can get them accurately spaced on both sides. Then I added a bit of weight just to help it all to bed in. Once it was dry, I could just remove the excess bits of dried contact adhesive. And then with a the brush, just wipe off any bits of dust. Then I could attach it to the fence. So I'm just using a screw on either side and drilling a quick pilot hole. Then I used a spirit level to get everything nice and level. And that was the mirror all finished. So that's about it for this video. I hope you liked the video. If you did, Please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more DIY and garden related videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.